um, golden power hour. So every morning I call it my golden power hour. Sit down, I listen to I, I listen to my affirmations. I go over my notebook. That's pretty much it. That's all. That's that's a golden power hour. I also have pop some vitamins and stuff like that. Show over my. <laughs> uh, what do you say? Pop, pop some vitamins. vitamins. <laughs> all right. So okay. you can set how I set. I literally send text messages so to myself. I know that sounds weird. I don't think I don't think I know anybody else who does it. Like, you hear? Okay. I've left messages for myself. Yeah, I send text messages to myself on a weekly, monthly basis that are encouraging, or they're like, "Hey, are you on track?" or "Are you inventing things to do besides doing the important?" Just stuff like this, or like, or like, "Remember that time you were awesome?" Or like, <laughs> "Remember that time that you did you did this or did that or remember or did this or whatever it is." You're I market I market to myself. I. Uh, I subscribe to positive newsletters, Jack Canfield, Brian Tracy, Tony Robbins. Get mail from them. I don't care. It's spam, I know, but it's good spam, you know? <laughs> um, ca- I have calendar reminders. I send. I have my ca- Gmail calendar send email reminders to myself so when I pop open my email. I, uh, you know, I do that for my business, too. I, ne- I, don't never, I don't remember anything, so I probably could, but I choose not to. I just plug it into the system. There's no need for it. I free up my mind to do other, other cool stuff. So, inevitable reward system, this is a really funny. Um, so, uh, after you set your goals, there's a step in your plan that requires you to make it inevitable or give your, and, and give yourself rewards. It's not an and or. I reward, if I achieve a goal, I reward myself. We're all going, we're all heading downtown having drinks if I do this or do that. Um, if, I, if I don't achieve my goal, then uh, small goal, I'll take a cold shower. You know, that sucks, right? <laughs> Take a cold shower if I don't do this, or uh, shave your head, make your hair green, whatever, whatever you can do. Think of tons of stuff. Take a shot of hot sauce. Who knows? Um, nothing crazy. Nothing that's gonna degrade yourself or anything like that. Just, it's just gonna be in your back of your mind. Like, I know somebody has a goal. If they don't reach it, they have to eat a half a half a stick of butter, just straight, just chomp it. Right? Ew. Yeah. Ew. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, imagine if you didn't buy Coke. <laughs> You gotta eat a half, eat a half a stick of butter. That's a you don't pick those six. If you don't pick those half <laughs> shows, you know, that would be that would be some marketing. Like you can you can really start influencing yourself here. That's basically what I do. I'm systematic. I choose to do. You set up the groundwork for any goal you have. You set up the groundwork, and the system works itself. All of the, you have to have willpower and self control to list your goals and to make a plan. After that. You implement some mind manipulation techniques into your plan, and, and, uh, and you just run with it. Like, oh, All right, so sure restriction. Any, this is a universal law. If you create vacuums, you'll find a way to fill the space. You, you like Chris is telling me as a cool story. A guy wanted a wife, set a goal to find a wife. He he actually made space in his closet for his wife to. to oh, cute. Cool story. If you make a vacuum, you will find a way to fill it. The universe just fills vacuums. That's all it is. So, if right now you watch TV, you're on timeout from watching TV. Um, if you watch two hours, three hours a day or whatever, if you have a favorite show, you're on timeout from watching that show until you just stop doing something and you'll and don't allow yourself to fill that space with something negative. Is really all it is. So, I'm going to talk a bit about reading. Um, but list okay, list your big whys. This is huge. I talk about it. Page uh, page two. This this can get crazy, okay? This is a cra- this is a crazy mind manipulation technique. This is crazy marketing to yourself. If you list the ten reasons, that if, okay, so project take five years forward and say you didn't achieve your goals, say you just stayed the same, maybe got worse. List ten things like vi- visualize your life in five years if you do that, and list the ten things that are the worst. Just list the worst things like can't send kids to college or kids think I suck, or uh, or whatever it is. I'm, I can't afford a dentist, don't have health care, whatever else it is. List big whys. Like, some big whys for me are, uh, I, my mom will have to re- work until she's a billion years old. My dad will never get the help he needs. Like, dig deep, like some psychological, just messed up stuff. Like, like stuff you only tell your psychologist. I'm saying dig deep, because that will influence you. If you remind yourself of that every once in a while, I even thought of putting a picture of my mom sitting behind a desk on my desk, you know? Oh, and she has, she was, uh, back in the day, she had the, the joint problem on the computer all the time. Was that? Carpool. Yeah, carpool. She was sitting behind a desk with, like, wristbands on, um, and that just fired me up so much, man. Just put a list 
to get like if you can if you actually read a list like that and don't take action, I, just, I can't help you really. I don't know how to do that. I would not be able to read something like that. Okay, so then uh, after that, after that, also list ten of the coolest things that you'd be able to do if you had a million bucks in the bank. Five years forward, just doing whatever you want. <coughs> ten of the best things. Retired my mom. Got my dad help. I have a cool relationship with my dad. Whatever, whatever it needs to be. Like dig deep. Okay, I just I threw this in here. I don't know if I'm I. I'm not saying I recommend this. I don't know what the benefits or drawbacks are, but I listen to hypnosis and subliminal messages while I sleep. I said it. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, and it's success subliminal. It's success hypnosis. It's more confidence. It's more self-esteem. It's more action. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, and it plays. It plays quietly you know, right next to me on my phone while I'm sleeping. Um, try it out if you want to. Make sure you're not listening to some crazy stuff. It's gonna make you uh, do something dumb. So uh, yeah, I hypnotize myself while I'm sleeping.